Alrighty guys, so just before we hop on in and talk about the build for Amamiya, I'm just going to quickly throw this in here so that everyone is aware right at the beginning of the video. Um, first of all, cool shadows. Eh, eh. Um, do not bother wasting your time with Serbi. Do not bother wasting your time with Serbi. Uh, not worth it. Um, yes, he gives critical hit damage, but unfortunately, uh, once you get to Elite Knight, it, it's only 7% not worth your guys' time if I'm being completely honest. If you want to unlock it to get the uh, initial, what was it, 5% um, for 100 traces, go for it. But I would highly, highly recommend not to invest anything. I mean, to be fair, even at this point, don't even bother unlocking. I'm just... Because, uh, of course, the next shadow that we get will be this behemoth of a, <laughs> of a goddamn wyvern. Uh, Kaizo, of course. So this is the next shadow, if you guys aren't aware. Um, but they lowballed the hell out of it. Do not do it. I only did it because it's my Serbi. If, 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 if it's your Serbi, I understand. Do what you gotta do. Yeah, don't do it. <laughs> it's, not, it's, it's not worth it. So, let's talk about Amamiya. Now, obviously, with where I've got her at with my Amamiya, I am over the moon with this character. She is the, she, she's number one. She's number one. When it comes to DPS, when it comes to taking that forefront, um, doing damage, she is number one, all right? Um, and so in terms of building her, uh, I mean, there's many ways to go about it in terms of because she is a DPS. Um, however, she's scaling off MP, so that does kind of switch things up a tad bit in terms of what we're actually looking for. Obviously, we can't go our typical route. I mean, well, technically speaking, you can go your typical route. Because even before um, a character scaling off MP, MP was still good to have. Um, it was actually one of the most recommended stats to have outside of uh, focusing on, obviously, the main offensive DPS stats, right? For a non-DPS stat, a lot of people would cave it to MP. So, in a way, it's kind of the same. It's just we're kind of swip, uh, kind of flipping it, you know. Uh, but either way, um, <laughs> just kind of wanted to get that out there. So this is kind of where I've got her for right now. Uh, I'll do a showcase video after. By the way, when it comes to her weapon, um, they buffed up her event. So if you go around the board now, uh, they give you ten. So yeah, let's just say your boy got lucky. So there we go. <laughs> but I did do a little bit of crafting too, and I kind of plus to wonder so that was by my bad math ain't my, my, my forte but anyway artifacts so obviously as you guys can see uh the best artifacts that we can technically utilize uh, as of right now is the curse set purely because that is pre-farmable uh with the workshop of being a light and that's exactly what i've done right obviously with how the content is right now it's difficult it's hard and so we're kind of having to maximize our stats and uh, obviously the curse set itself is kind of picture perfect with what it does giving us more damage i mean yes there's a bit of a trade-off in terms of taking damage ourselves but allowing her to do more damage that's the key thing the curse set is universally the the one to choose from of course obviously it's also the highest level stats uh sorry level uh, gear sets that we have right now so that will give you the most um but in terms of what we're looking out for when it uh, when it comes to building um Amamiya. so the helmet you want to be main stat attack additional defense additional attack these two will stay um the boots you want critical hit damage uh, additional hp wind damage and then you want the ring to be attack and then this will be additional mp unfortunately this is the only item or the artifacts that will give you additional mp as main stat so the remaining artifacts you'll have to work for the uh, mp so after getting the main stats out of the way obviously when it comes to building her with the sub stats what well, i mean this kind of i mean this isn't <laughs> this is questionable i need to work on getting better stats but um Pretty much crit hit rate is what we're looking at because of course with how her build is, she is a bit of a crit machine, right? So you want to make sure that she's obviously 50% on the crits uh, or on the crit rate uh, within her stats, of course. So cage uh, crit rate is going to be vital on the um, left hand side of the gear sets, of course, whilst also catering to attack as per usual. Um, additional MP and MP reduction, that is going to be something that we have to really really think about and try and also cater to because again she is a character that is working off um, mp scaling um and i i think for right now those are like the four um obviously outside of that if you get you know like damage increased defense pen any type of offensiveness then you know that's just an, an added bonus but realistically attack crit rate mp reduction additional mp 
that's kind of what we're aiming for in terms of setting up Amamiya in that perfect gear set. Don't bother looking at the healing given, it still pisses me off, but I'm, I'm having to make do with what I've got. So yeah, create damage, attack, additional MP, damage increase, you know, this isn't too bad of course, so I'm just kind of working with what I've got. You know, this is pretty decently well done. So that's kind of what we're looking at on kind of like the left hand side in terms of stats. Again, on the right hand side, again, it's pretty much the exact same. It's just the crit hit rate is going to go. No, sorry. Yeah, the critical hit rate is going to change into critical hit damage, but we're still catering to the attack, the additional MP and the, in the um, uh, MP consumption reduction, of course. So, for example, for, the, for, for this, this is actually really good for her. I'm not going to lie. I just wish I had more of the pluses on the attack and the MP reduction. Um, but yeah, like for example, with this set right here with the defense pen, I mean, that's not bad to have, you know? So that's pretty solid, of course. Um, I do need a better wind bracelet, but I mean, again, this isn't too bad. Healing given has ruined it, would have preferred it to be on additional MP. Obviously, you've got to keep in mind with the unit herself when it comes to her passive, increase the user attack by 4% for every additional 150 MP up to 40%. So, uh, Crucial that you sneak in a, a decent amount of MP in here, so we, that way you can maximize that, that maximize that passive. So again, once again, you know, managed to get plus two on the reduction. Can't go wrong with that. Um, and then of course, when it comes to the earring, we really did luck out in terms of gaining the big boy completion stats. If only the additional defense was like additional attack or defense pen or anything like that, this would have been beautiful. Um, unfortunately attack didn't get any type of pluses so it is what it is but realistically these four right here yeah it kind of that's the sweet spot and then additionally you're just kind of looking out for more offensive stats so that's primarily what you're looking at in terms of what you're trying to shoot for what you're trying to aim for when it comes to building Amamiya through the main stats to the sub stats on each the left side and right side now Let's talk about artifacts. Let's talk about, so obviously the curse set is gonna be universally uh, one that I feel like a lot of people are gonna go for, which is fine, yeah, I mean, I mean, that's not exactly what I've done, right? Make, 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 make it easier to kind of um, start her off, of course. Now, obviously the newer sets, as well as the newer levels, is also something that we're gonna be trying to cater to. So, you know, we'll kind of speak on those. Um, so obviously the first main gear set, which I will uh, recommend, is crit obviously she is a crit machine she is a crit user so it's kind of stating the obvious that the toughness set as well as toughness set is the hot summer set um if you do your logins you'll be able to actually uh get a full set oh uh, okay that's not too bad additional attack defense pen okay yeah that, that one okay that the, the, the not the best not the best but pretty much um yeah so obviously with the hot summer set this is one of the gear sets that you can almost get immediately so that way you can actually um work off from getting high level gear sets so that way you can get a little bit more stats but yeah the uh crit hit rate and crit hit damage eight percent to 32 percent this is basically an upgraded toughness set um this will work just as fine so the toughness set slash the hot summer set if you guys want to utilize that that is an option um that's pretty much what i'm going to be utilizing once i get the um level 75 version of the um uh, toughness set so it's gonna take a little bit of grinding but that's gonna be the main set that I'm gonna be catering to of course um, obviously the arm set is universally usable uh, for her if you want to I mean you can do so as a bit of a substitution set until you get the toughness set solid um, uh, ready to rock and roll of course um, burning curses again stating the obvious and then you could apply the warmonger because that will give you the attack and the defense up but um, yeah, I really wouldn't, wouldn't cater to that to be honest. So realistically, uh, arm set if you want to throw that in there, the curse set as well as the one that I'm aiming for and I would recommend for is the toughness set slash the hot summer vibe set. So those are the gear sets that we are kind of looking at in terms of the left hand side of things. Going over to the accessory set. So once again, because it's an eight set curse set is always there for you so you can always go about using that um, now the thing about Amamiya on the right hand side and what opens up is that she hits hard and disgustingly quick this is kind of the reason why I'm classing her as the number one character right now is because the quickness of her attack and the consistency it outdoes every other DPS character um, and so from that obviously the expert set is on you know clearly one of the ones that you can really really cater to um if you choose to of course do i not have any wait what is going on oh wait i need to go on the other one <laughs> now obviously they do have the other summer vibe 
um, gear set which is basically the um, expert set so again if you want to utilize that set because it's going to be at level 65 almost immediately which is going to be given on the, I believe on the next login day um, then you can if, uh, you know immediately if you get good sub stats and whatnot then you can rock with that of course but yeah you can literally cater to this so beautifully because of how quick um, her attacks are so you can actually stack up quite nicely in terms of the attack from this gear set so literally the toughness and the expert set being the crit set as they are as they were before um, those two will work absolutely beautifully with Amamiya if you want to utilize those set of course again if I get anything going for expert set on a higher level level 75 then that's probably something that I'm going to kind of pile on of course um, and then obviously immediately through that that then opens up for the execution of set to be viable that then opens up the champion of field set to be viable um technically no no i wouldn't leave no 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 no, no berserker set obviously the curse that's fine um i wouldn't really focus on concentration of firepower purely because she's an mp user um and we're not out here trying to consume <laughs> we're trying to save whilst because her skills do a disgusting amount of damage so we don't really need to power that up um, but that just consumes your mp by a disgusting amount and we're trying to avoid that so let's not go into that um oh yeah the uh, outstanding ability there you go how can we forget about this i mean i don't have any of this set um but i would probably do it as in so i would go for right now obviously the curse set will always be number one because you can get level 78 so boom boom um boom boom and then boom um yeah i mean we'll, we'll have to test this one out just to kind of feel it out and see how good it is but that's kind of what we're looking at so yeah a lot of choices for the um accessory side of things of course which is yeah amazing let's have a look wait well, uh when the user has 70 percent or more of their mp their damage now increases by 10 percent damage now increases effect potency increases to 25 percent and this effect now triggers when the user is at 40 percent or more or oh, sorry of more of their maximum mp okay yeah so basically this is kind of like uh, as i've said before like the berserker set like the executioner set of course it's just scaling off from mp so honestly yeah, no, the, uh, you could also throw this in. Actually, to be honest, I might actually do toughness with this or toughness with expert. Yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much on how you are going to be building your Amamiya in terms of the gear sets that are viable for her, as well as the substats that you really want to cater to and look out for. Um, but yeah, boys, you know, when it comes to me doing the showcase, just know that I am going to be speaking highly about her. She is disgusting number one dp like she is crazy on the board